Hey there, and welcome to our quick demo about Do Agent Platform and our software development agent. I'm Alex, a solution architect here at GitLab. And we're going to enhance our existing application here, um, which is called Present Picker. So Present Picker can help us to get good suggestions if you have no idea what to give somebody to. For example, my wife in that example, and you see that it's now kind of digging deeper and saying, okay, you're shopping for a wife and just like, uh, helps us iterating towards a good present, right? So what do we want to do with that great application is we want to have a new feature in it. So wouldn't it be great if we get feedback about the suggestions from our customers so we can further refine our prompts and the application in the background. And that's why we used our state-of-the-art planning tool for the company we're making up here, which is Jira, right? Of course, I could use like uh, GitLab planning, but a lot of customers use Jira and that's why I um, designed that um, within Jira issue. So as you can see, that's our Jira issue and this is our GitLab project. Yeah? So standard streamlit Python application we're dealing with here and I've cloned that to VS Code for our convenience. So what I want to do is I want to use GitLab do agent platform better here, which has the capability of the chat, the chat agent, the do agentic chat and the flows, particularly the software development agent we're talking. And what I want the software development agent to do is that it analyzes the current application and implement the following issue for me, which is on Jira. So while do agentic chat and the agents have native context of all the things which are happening in GitLab, what is great. We also have the capability to do MCP tool integration. So that means to call an external resource or tool in our case, that's the Jira instance and get the details from the Jira issue here. So you see that I needed to approve that. So that's why, because every MCP tool call needs to be approved. So we implemented that because there are a lot of security concerns about MCP servers out there. So we wanna make sure that only approved MCP servers execute the particular tool call. Now you see the software development agent is gaining an understanding of our application here. So it goes through the readme, goes through the app file and a lot of the files here which are needed to get the full context. So now you've seen that um, some time is gone and we get a plan presented because that's kind of like the key of how we want to operate here. So we don't want to have our agent autonomously starting to make changes to our existing application. We want to identify and to have a plan before which is 100% aligned with us. We could refine that plan and then we want to approve it. So, and then we see what it wants to do. So it will want to read the application file. Um, yeah, of course, it needs to go through uh, other implementations, right? And then, of course, like modifying the file um, and creating documentation. Now that, that makes sense to me. So um, even without going too deep through it, so I am agreeing with the plan, so which has 15 steps and we'll see that GitLab do is now starting to implement our changes to the application. So as you can see, um, our session did finish right now. And you see the plan execution was successful. Um, you see the code changes which have been implemented by GitLab Dewey here. So I choose to not locally test that. So I choose to have a preview environment deployed um, by each merge request here. And therefore, you see the changes and we're, we committed that changes and we see that uh, a pipeline has been run. So you see the documentation update and you see the code changes which have been autonomously implemented by GitLab Duo here. Um, and the nice thing is that, so we're deploying a review app with that code changes so we can validate if that code changes have been successful. Yeah. And therefore, well, let's have a look here. And I just used the same prompt. So I wanna give my wife I want to give my wife and we'll see how 
it's responded and we'll see yes so uh actually so we can now rate our suggestion even if we're not at the end uh but you successfully saw how we vibe coded that new feature in the application here just by leveraging our software development flow with an external um, source with an external ticket tracker as well which is absolutely possible and we even get thanks for your feedback so i hope that gives you an idea how powerful that is and how easy it is to leverage external tracking tools as well so um yeah because in the future you might natively use like something like the issue to mr flow within gitlab but for external tools the integration here is very very powerful very nice and that concludes the demo so i'm going to merge that to main right now